There is a lot of misinformation out there, and I realized after my last upload covering Core i7 gameplay that quite a number of you were convinced that lower resolutions result in higher CPU usage, so I'll cut right to the chase. 100% false. There is not the tiniest shred of evidence to suggest that CPU usage increases as resolution decreases. That makes no logical sense, period. By the way, I ran a poll on Twitter asking followers what they thought about CPU usage and resolution, and it appears many of you believe that this as well, but not to worry, that's what this video is for. I am so frankly sick and tired of people who know next to nothing about a topic or who haven't researched the topic themselves who consistently barf up these disgusting fallacies, all because they saw someone say it in some forum who was also likely uninformed. This is Science Studio, so let's prove what I just said with a bit of that. Science. So this claim has its roots in something that is actually true, but only to an extent, the truth being that since lower resolutions yield higher frame rates, the CPU is taxed more proportionally since it must prepare several more frames, more specifically the physics and calculations to be made within each frame, a case which demands a more parallel computing process for which CPUs are not designed. In this scenario, a lower resolution relieves GPU stress and relieves CPU stress, only slightly in most cases, and consequently adds a bit of pressure to both since the GPU must now stitch together and render more frames per second, and the CPU must increase its parallel calculation rate. The GPU is designed specifically for parallel workloads, which means that this added pressure won't impact its ability to send frames to your TV or monitor. However, since the CPU is not designed to handle similar workloads, it struggles a bit more, and will benefit greatly from more cores all other things equal. This is why an i7 is preferable for high frame rate gaming. Regardless of the resolution in question, a quad-core processor with hyper-threading will be able to more efficiently delegate tasks with Within each core thanks to an advanced scheduler. More on that in the card right here. So this is where the roads diverge. We have the truth down one end, that higher frame rates bottleneck CPUs more than GPUs on average, and the disgusting crap uninformed morons are spewing out down the other, that lower resolutions put more stress on the CPU because that makes perfect sense. Clearly, lower resolutions, all other things equal, result in lower CPU and GPU usage overall. You can monitor CPU loads in MSI Afterburner and just check temps every now and then for your graphics card to confirm. If your card isn't hot, it likely isn't working very hard, a consequence of lower resolutions. Turning off our 60 FPS frame lock in these lower resolutions results in an increased CPU workload, clearly, which would place our CPU in the neck of the bottle here. But here is the interesting part. If we compare the results that we've just seen right here with the results from the last video, where everything was run in a resolution of 1440p, vsync off of course, then you can see that not much changed even though the resolution did. Peak CPU usage was nearly identical and average CPU usage across the duration of each test did not change by anything more than 5%. All of these games, by the way, I would regard as highly CPU intensive. GTA 5 is the only one that really isn't, and that's because it's a good blend of both GPU and CPU intensive segments. In the same way, gaming in 4K dramatically impacted performance overall thanks to a now induced GPU bottleneck, but did not increase CPU usage to a great extent since the number of frames drawn within each game were lower on average. It is worth noting, however, that this relief is superseded by the increased CPU workload brought about by a 4K resolution, so things like physics calculations and viewing distances. In this scenario, both our GPU and CPU usage increased, but the GPUs increased by a much larger factor. Theoretically, we could continue this trend of increasing in-game resolution to the point where one of our two usages no longer increases, indicating a bottleneck. So let's sum up what we've just seen. GPU usage decreases as resolution decreases. CPU usage decreases as resolution decreases. The proportional workload carried by the CPU increases at lower resolutions. The proportional workload carried by the GPU increases at higher resolutions. The proportional workload carried by the CPU increases at higher frame rates. And the proportional workload carried by the GPU increases at lower frame rates. Do you see one that says CPU usage increases as resolution decreases? No, you do not, because it isn't true, period, end of story. Thank you, science. This is Science Studio. Share this one with your friends. Thanks for learning with us.